Hey, what's up guys? It's Spencer. So today's video is going to be kind of short. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about one of the most requested topics I've gotten. Something I get questions about all the time. And that is minoxidil. Which is this little bottle of hair growth magic. And you can put it on your face to help you grow a beard. So minoxidil. It's sold under the brand name Rogaine. And it's usually used for like head loss, head loss, head hair loss, loss on the top of your head. Hair loss up here. You know, male pattern balding, that stuff that happens. Whatever. But you can also use it on your face to help you grow a beard. There's been a lot of dudes, especially trans guys, that have used it on their face with good results. And I've used it and I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience and stuff. Well, the stuff is very expensive. It's usually like $12 for one bottle or like $30 for three bottles and it's supposed to last you one month but since you're not using it on your head it's actually gonna last longer because you're using it less. They have all the little warnings and stuff on here. Um, you should definitely follow these warnings. Pretty much all the instructions on here are gonna be the same. Um, you know, discontinue use if your face is red, inflamed, infected, irritated, or painful. Don't use if you're under 18. Uh, yeah, stop use and ask a doctor if you have chest pain, rapid heartbeat, faintness, or dizziness, sudden unexpected weight gain, your hands or feet swell, scalp irritation, or unwanted hair growth. So, so it seems like there's a lot of side effects, right? Honestly, I haven't dealt with any of these side effects except I got a little bit dry on my face when I started using it, and then I just started using better moisturizer, and it pretty much took care of that. Okay, so it says not to use on your face or any other parts of your body but i want to explain that it says that because it hasn't been tested by the fda or whatever um for use on your face it's only been tested for your scalp however there have been many people myself included that have used this on their face and had results in facial hair and you know not a whole lot of negative effects basically all you do I'm gonna hope I don't spill this. <laughs> is look okay, so there's like a little one milliliter line, and there's like you know, you don't have to fill it up all the way to the little one milliliter line because you're just using it on your face. Essentially, you just alright, and then there's a little bit on your face. I put some on my eyebrows too. But you just kind of wrap it in and let it dry. I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> so I filmed the whole second half of the video and I checked my camera and apparently it wasn't focused for even one little bit. So here we go. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't really have to use a whole lot on my face. They have the little, hold on. I have a little one milliliter line, but I usually don't fill it up that much, and I don't use the whole little droplet amount. I just kind of drop some on my face and rub it in. Um, you want to wash your hands after this. I usually just leave it on my face until I take a shower the next morning if I'm putting it on before bed, or if I put it on the morning, I do it at a time where I can wait a couple hours before I need to shower, and it takes like I think four hours to completely soak in. But yeah, um, they recommend using it two times a day. I recommend starting with one time a day and then kind of easing yourself into two times after a week or so. Um, if that works for your schedule, of course, because not everyone's schedule allows for that. However, I definitely get more results from using it twice a day, so think about it. Okay, so I get asked more than anything about the side effects, and one of the big things is that there's, a, there's actually two case studies done on cats where minoxidil was used directly on the cat to treat feline hair loss and unfortunately uh, since cats you know lick their fur to clean themselves and stuff these cats ended up licking this up and passing away very sad so I understandably have a lot of cat owners that message me and stuff wondering about this wondering if it's safe um, and I just want to say that yes it is I have three cats I've been using this for about two years as long as you don't use it directly on your cat, or if you don't let your cat lick your face after you put it on, 
then you will be fine. The cat will not ingest it, and you and your cat will go on living happily and hairy and bearded together. If your cat has a beard. And then some people, for some reason, think that um, if you stop using it, that all your hair is going to fall out. And I don't really know where that claim came from, because it's not how hair works or how regrowth treatments work. Um, but I, yeah. However, essentially if you use this on your facial hair and you start growing, you know, the hair grows as baby hairs first. If you stop using it before your hair growth matures into mature hair, then yes, the baby hairs will probably fall out. They are not mature hairs. They're not rooted correctly into your skin. They're just growing, trying to become more mature. The baby hair eventually matures into full, thick, wiry, colored hair. And at this point, it's not going to fall out if you stop using the minoxidil because the hair is permanent. It will keep growing whether you shave it, whether you, you know, you, whether you stop using this, whether you do whatever, it'll keep growing unless you get hair laser removal. There's two separate strengths that they sell. They sell this extra strength one that I have. It's the 5% minoxidil solution. And they also sell, um, oh, and this is for men, by the way. They have a for women one. The difference is that the for women is a regular strength. It is 3% minoxidil usually. And um, it's just a little bit weaker, so. Since trans men are not women, you can get the men brocade and you will be fine. I don't think there is really like a set time, set period of time that people use this. A lot of people do like three months, six months, a year, stuff like that, because that's how they sell their bottles. They usually sell in like, I think it says one month supply at the bottom, but they have like three month supply, six month supply, year supply, whatever. I've been using it probably off and on for like two years and um, this most recent period has been almost a full year. I'm actually on my last bottle, so when I'm done with this, I'm done. Honestly, you can use it as long as you want. I found that each bottle lasts about two or three months, which is way more cost effective than using the whole one milliliter and just having a one month supply. Uh, if you use it once a day, it's gonna last even longer, obviously. I found that the most hair growth occurred after about six or seven months on minoxidil, and I've read some things that uh, other people have found the same thing, that they got a little bit of hair growth and then it just seemed to shoot up after about six months of using this, and um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I really have for today's video. These little bottles are like $12 at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any sort of pharmacy place like that. I think I got mine from Walmart. Yeah, it's like Walmart brand, Equate. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave me a like and a comment. If you like me, maybe subscribe or something, and I'll see you guys next time. Didn't know what to do for the intro. <laughs>